Yes, yes, y'all. You are rocking with the best. This is the one only just blaze. And right now, you are checking out recordkings.com. Shout out to my man, Juliana. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Just Blaze. And if you don't know anything about me beyond that, you probably should be on this website. And if you still don't know anything about me, just go Google. Google Just Blaze, you'll find out everything you want. Whenever, I, whenever he does come to the U.S., we try to hook up. My schedule is always so hectic. But whenever he does come through, he comes through with boxes and boxes and boxes and, and creates records. I mean, records that like records that I've never seen. It's, it's, it's very rare that you know, somebody brings me a collection of records. And when he's, whenever he comes through, I want to say like 90 of the records. Either I've never seen them before, or I don't have them. Got 20,000 records. Where you from? You know what I mean? Like New York, New York is 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 not built. Like, you want to have a super duper library? You gotta have a house or just like that. If I had space, I would do it. You know, it's like now. Yeah, it's like now. I just go to the gyms. Um, I can't have everything. I just want to have the essentials. So um, I pride myself on the collection that I already have, but I'm, you know, now being. It's not about having the most records, it's about having the best records. I used to be that dude that just wanted to have every record. You know, every hi-hat, every used, every snare, every... Now I'm just like, I just... Need this. Well, it's a different time. There, there, there was a time in hip hop where that's what it was all about. It was about digging for samples that never been used. Um, digging for the newest, freshest drums, the freshest sounds. It's changed now, though. I think part of that is because of the generation of uh, generation. Yet. There's a whole new generation of young producers who have a different set of rules, a different set of codes, and they don't necessarily know all the records that have been used. In the past, more like I'm not one of those bitter dudes though who's like, oh, you know, I used that sample back in 2001 and now they use it again. You can't be mad at at people who um, don't have the sort of the knowledge that you came up with. You know, when we came up with along with digging for new fresh stuff, it was also a thing where we used to like go back and study our old music and study our forefathers and study our peers. A lot of us had older brothers and older cousins who were in some culture. Um, and taught us things in passing down to us. So I think maybe the blame might actually lay on maybe a little more of my generation because, you know, you're also putting young boys in and in school a little bit. I feel, like, I feel like a lot of us didn't really do that. So I don't really get mad at them. It's kind of on us. I don't really have anything in particular that I look for when I make a YouTube. I just, it's just, it's just gotta be something to catch my ear. I don't have a particular sound or particular style or anything. Thank you so much, sir. I don't look for anything in that vein. I just, for me, it's just, does it sound good? Does it make me want to do something? You know, I just like, my process changes depending on what I'm using. So these days, I've always just been using logic. Uh, a little bit of Pro Tools and mostly logic. Go to sample in there, chop it up, throw it in the DXS, you know. I kind of just play with the chat until I find something I like, you know. Uh, with the MPC, I work a little bit different. I think I tend to sample chops into the computer. Whereas with the computer, I just need to put a little song. And then chop out the part that I like. The other method process is the same. I always say people, people get so caught up with the machine. Like, does he use a 4000? Does he use a 2500? Does he use Pro Tools? Does he use Logic? It don't matter. Stop worrying about what I use. Just find what works best for you. Because you, I remember when I was a kid, I wanted the ASR 10 just because that's what Rizzy used. But then when I got the ASR 10, my beats wasn't as good as Rizzy's beats. Well, I was also 14 years old. I wasn't good as good as me. But I thought I was gonna be because I had that ASR. I have a number one favorite, I have a few favorites. Working with Jay is always great. 
Jay Z working with Jay Electronic is, is great. Uh, he's really easy to get along with. Yeah. Eminem, the same. Um, you know, the thing about what makes artists, uh, certain artists, great to work with is they let you do what you like with yourself. As a producer, they can treat what they can treat as a writer, as an artist. You can treat what you can treat as a writer, as a producer. And, uh, About, about um, dudes like that, dudes like Julian, is there are a lot of dudes who sell records, right? There's a lot of guys who sell break music. There's a lot of guys who sell music, drums and all that. But not all of them necessarily know what's good for you. You know what I mean? Like, they don't study your music, they just know you're a producer. So they say, all right, listen, here's a bunch of samples. But then it's like, they bring you a bunch of stuff that they don't necessarily appeal to you. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always looking for something different, but you gotta at least know my genre. Right? Yeah, you gotta know my, my, my niche, and then you wanna bring a few outside different things in the But you know, it's like, don't, don't come to me with a bunch of country records. You know what I mean? They might have some drums on them or some nice guitar. You know, like, get, get in that, get in that vein, get in that vein, know my history, know my discography. Like, you know, Juliano was definitely good with that. He came through. The majority of what he played was relevant to what I might want. You know what I mean? Yeah, you have some record Yeah, you have some record dealers who just don't really understand. With everybody, you know, like I said earlier, you really just go with just the way it's designed for. It's for the tops. It's for J. M, Wayne, Raya, DMX, Busta, uh, Puff, Steve Aguilera, Kanye, Lupe, this goes on and on, Cam, Freeway, Benny Steven, Puff is Blue. Kanye, you know, I've I, I done a few days now. You might have had people trying to one up with each other, yeah. but they would still go bigger than you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you might go to a convention, see the show, and Primo, then Tim, Large Professor, and the Beat Nuts, and so on and so forth. And everybody's sitting there like, yo, you got this, you got this. One. You might have that one record that you tuck to the side, like, I can't let nobody do this shit. Yeah. You know? Uh, but then it was certain, you know, it was still like a, a brotherly spirit amongst it. That's not so, that's not really right. One thing I like about one thing I like about what Record Kings does with their site, they don't give you too much information, but they give you enough. In other words, they'll let you sit, you know, they, they'll give you clips from the records. They'll also give you a little insight, like yo, just Blaze used this break on this, Alphish used this break on this, you know, Primo used this break on this, but there's five other breaks on here. And then they give you a little knowledge. They're in their business, so they got to do the So but it dropped a little knowledge along the way. You know, there's a lot of people don't do. I feel like if more of us did that, the newer generations of producers might be able to go around. Even if, I mean, don't get me wrong, my only reference from record is even if you don't study the site and, and you know, use it for the resource that builds, I mean, there's a lot of potential.